Good morning, YouTube. Today I'm bringing you a battle against Smoke on User Cool T. Now, in my opinion, this is perhaps the most straightforward and hacks oriented battle that I've uploaded so far. So please bear with me if the beginning is rather boring. In my opinion, it's boring, but looking at his team, I'm really not threatened by a uh, much. The only Pokemon, the only two Pokemon that I'm really have some concern about is the uh, Rotom Wash and the Landorus. I'm like everything else. I can really just have a Sableye handle, like the Foretris Sableye can check. The Toxicroak, I can get a Will O Wisp off. And the Metagross, I can Will O Wisp it as well. Politoed's probably, um, it, it can be an attacker. I'm like, he has a lot of uh, Pokemon that could possibly be scarfed and. Since I don't believe in the solo scarf rule, um, he could possibly have a scarf Rotom and a scarf Landers. And uh, looking at my team, Genesect is really uh, the best Pokemon to begin with. I'm like, if he's running scarf Landers and he begins with him, if he goes for the earthquake, I can just ice beam and destroy it. If he's uh, beginning with Metagross, I really don't have anything to fear. I can just launch off an immediate flamethrower. And if he leads with Polly, then I can just bug buzz off the bat. So I decide to lead with Genesect, of course. I always believe in safety first. And as you can see, he's going to lead with the Politoed. So when I told you guys that this battle was very hacks oriented, you're going to see what I mean. Turn 1, Bug Buzz, Critical Hit, Politoed Faints, 1 Hit KO. Yes, that did matter, because he had specially uh, defensive EVs. Next turn, another Critical Hit, Bug Buzz on the Judge Man. Cool T predicts me to uh, switch out here, that's why he goes for the Hidden Power Ice. That does not work, so now he's going to send in his Foretris, who I'm just going to Bug Buzz for about... 28% damage, which is pretty good. Here he thinks I'm going to switch because I can't really hurt it, but I actually don't care about entry hazards. Go ahead and put up your stealth rocks, your spikes, your toxic spikes. I'll just have Don Finn uh, rapid spin since he mainly has physical attackers for this team. So here he's just going to go for the gyro ball, and I'm going to continue to spam Bug Buzz and take him out. So Queen Vexus is really putting in work. Um, I wonder if anybody. Uh, off the bat knows who Queen Vexus really is. But here I'm going to go for the Bug Buzz again, get another critical hit, and uh, this guy actually thought that I had a scope lens or razor claw, so that was actually kind of funny. Um, but, you know, choice scarf. Choice scarf. So, fearing the burn, he's going to send in his judgment as basically death fodder. Just in case he wanted to stay in and try and go for like a sucker punch or whatnot, I just say burn whatever he sends in. So Judge Man's going down. Now he's going to send in the wash, which reminds me of uh, that club from SpongeBob SquarePants uh, when they Patrick and SpongeBob took Mr. Krabs to that club. It's kind of funny, but I'm going to send in Little Seizure because I know that even if he is modest choice scarf, I can take at least two um, hydro pumps and then get a thunder wave off. Um, I didn't go for the Zen Headbutt because I honestly didn't see the point. Um, I basically just wanted to get a Thunder Wave and then a Wish Off. That way I can go ahead and send in Gladys Knight, who can possibly just sweep the rest of his team. Because after the Stealth Rock damage, knowing that he's most likely locked into Hydro Pump, he'll have to switch. So I'm able to get up a, a Dragon Dance. And here, I noticed that he must have some like special, uh, I mean, a physical bulk on him because. Is I was expecting this fire punch to do a little bit more. I'm like that was only about 35%, and his ice punch, ice punch is a heaping ton. So the outrage here actually does more. The outrage does about 45% damage. So uh, that was pretty interesting. Ice punch fades the Gladys Knight, but his life orb is going to faint him. So we both make a blind switch. I'm just going to go ahead and send in Red Lobster. I wonder if anybody will know what that reference stands for, but I figured he might send in his Toxicroak to try and set up, so I'm just going to go for the Dragon Dance. Uh, here he thought I'd switch, like expecting a Stone Edge, but I'm just going to stay in, 
And now I know that he's most likely going to go for the sucker punch, so I'm just going to go for the substitute predicting that. Now, he doesn't really have a choice. He's really got to stay in. I'm going to go for the bounce, which was unexpected. That caught him off guard. And it actually forces him to switch out into uh, the wash. So uh, things are looking good for me because now uh, bounce is going to take about 40% of the wash's health. And here I didn't think that he uh, had the thunder, but he actually does, so that's kind of funny. It's the first time that I've... Uh, ever seen a substitute break in the air I'm not even sure how that works but he's going to finish off my um red lobster here I actually don't run waterfall on this Gyarados just trying out something a little bit new but now I'm going to be able to send in gold mine and just nightshade and finish this thing off so that's why I'm glad that I ended up thunder waving the Rotom and now he's going to send in Jiraiya I'm just going to burn it to stop uh, any shenanigans that he tries and he ends up getting the freeze hack so I guess this makes up for the three critical hits that Genesect I got I guess uh, Genesect was like really pissed off this match or whatnot and now he's just gonna go for the sucker punch and that did that did a fair amount of damage but here I'm thinking I don't want this battle to last forever so I'm just going to go ahead and send in circus act knowing that I'm most likely He's not going to get the freeze hacks again. If he does, then uh, I'd still upload it just for the, I guess, freeze hacks. Um, what is it? Semantics or whatnot. But here he goes for the ice punch again, and he does not get the freeze hacks. So I'm just going to earthquake him and finish the match. So hopefully you all enjoyed this straightforward match. This is Unhappy Carousel. Have a nice day.